hang on, wait a minute. Do you see what's happening here? Should his face be swelling like that? This is the classic sign of a superior vena cava obstruction. So why don't you tell me as many causes for a superior vena cava obstruction as you can starting now. Um, cancer... I don't know. Okay, don't worry. You need to change the way you think about this so you can recall more differentials. I'll show you how, but first let's test your medical knowledge. In the comments, I want you to tell me the name of this clinical sign. The superior vena cava is this super highway of venous return. It's like a guttering system. When you raise your arm, the venous blood spills back into the right atrium of the heart. But that's only the case if it's not obstructed. In this gentleman, it's not draining properly. It's causing his face to swell, this plethora over his chest, and if he keeps holding his arms up, he's going to start feeling more and more unwell. To remember the causes of superior vena cava obstruction, we just need to think of its neighbours. To think of the anatomical structures of the thoracic cavity. The lungs. Lung tumours are the most common cause for superior vena cava obstruction, particularly small cell lung cancer. Second, think of the other great vessels. Thoracic aortic aneurysm could compress the superior vena cava. Next, more broadly, is think of retrosternal cancers. It could be lymphoma, dermoid cancers, or metastatic spread from other organs in the body. Next, the thyroid gland. This is a rogue one, but as the thyroid gland expands, it can actually grow downwards. We call that a retrosternal goiter. It can also get intraluminal causes, which is a blockage from the inside. So tell me in the comments the name of this clinical sign, and I'm going to drop the answer there very soon.